Hello, this is Nurse Tilson here. In this video, I'd like to show you how to extend plinths beyond the cabinet. When we start a new cabinet, let's start a completely new cabinet in Polyboard. When I start a new cabinet here, new cabinet, and I put it on my screen, we don't have any plinth on it at all. To put a plinth, I go to elevation here, and I give the elevation, and the cabinet is set up and there appears a plinth volume underneath and if I click right on my plinth volume I can add a plinth. Let's add a front plinth here. And let's set this front plinth back for instance 50 millimeters. And so we have a plinth here. By default if I look at my plinth here the plinth goes up and is the same length as the bottom of my cabinet. If and it's the same length as the bottom board of my cabinet. If I extend the bottom board, for instance, if I take the bottom board here, and on the right-hand side, I say it's, this bottom board is not overpassing, underpassing, but overpassing, the plinth is now extended up to the end of my cabinet because it is the same length as the bottom board. How do I make it go beyond the bottom board? Well, to go beyond the bottom board, I define a different type of link between the plinth and the left hand side here. For instance, if I click on the plinth, I select the plinth, and on the left hand side here, we see the type of um, link to it is a recess. If I click on recess and I click groove, I now have a groove. The plinth it will be grooved into my left hand side, even if they're the virtual volume of the left hand side extended down now. The groove length by default is zero which gives there's no depth to my groove zero so the plinth is not extended into the groove yet but if I give a particular depth to this groove for instance if I put 19 which is the oh, I think it's the thickness of my panel I think it's more 26 26 millimeter oh, 26 millimeter and I put 26 millimeter penetration into my left hand side we can see now that the cabinet has been moved the, the, the plinth has been moved 26 millimeters into the volume of the left hand side here we can even make it go beyond the left hand side if I say it's, I say for instance a hundred now we have 100 millimeters from the face of the left hand side here to the end of my plinth here. So I can continue, I can actually give the, the plinth the actual length that I want. Another way, another thing of plinth, another thing you know, have to know about plinths is that when we go into the plinth area here, by and we look at plinths, by default we can put a plinth on the front, on the back, and I can see it's at the back about 50, for instance if we've got an, an island, we've got a black, and note that the left hand side is not active. I cannot put a plinth on the left hand side because my um, panel on the left hand side is overpassing my bottom. On the right hand side it is active because my panel on the right hand side, my side panel, is underpassing the bottom here. So I can put a let's put a plinth on the right hand side. And so we have here now a plinth on the right-hand side, but on the left-hand side we cannot put a plinth until we define the panel here. Or we can the way we can put a plinth, of course, is just to put a. We can add a um, uh, what we call an upright. So you put an upright from the left-hand side and put it at zero, and now we have actually a board in here which is flush to the to the um, left hand uh, the left hand side sorry now we have a board here on the left hand side which is up against the um, in the inner face of the left hand side here but as well as long as the left hand side here is overpassing the bottom if we take it 
as underpassing the bottom and we get rid of, for instance, let's explode our cabinet and let's get rid of this and this plinth here according to the left hand side here is no longer groove but recess and we close our cabinet and now we go underneath here and we go into plinths and we can see now the left hand side is active and I can put a plinth on the left hand side and in fact now we have a cabinet which has a plinth all the way around defined with a plinth with the plinth command so that's uh, a few little details of how to manipulate plinths on your cabinets thank you for looking I hope that's been of interest to you goodbye